Morning lovelies. I just wanted to come on and say how exciting it is that my new uh, podcast episode is out today on YouTube with uh, Dr. Alan Robinson, which is exciting. So hop onto YouTube, I'll put a snippet on Instagram and Facebook just to give you a taster. But if you're interested in QHHT and if you're interested in the client perspective of a session, then this is one for you. So do take a look. But I wanted to talk this morning about friendships. And I must admit, I am not an expert in this area of life at all. Uh, as a child, I always found it difficult to make friends. Um, as an adult, I've found it equally difficult uh, from the point of view that I don't need that many people in my life. And I know that we're tribal creatures and I know that we need community. But for me, my partner or husband or boyfriend has always been my best friend and somebody who I've invested a lot of time, love and energy in. And I've always found it difficult to have that level of openness with somebody who's not my partner. And it's something that I've been exploring and learning more about in my adult life. And recently I have had a breakdown of a friendship, unfortunately. Somebody who I love dearly and that I had a very uh, intense friendship with. But that friendship has... Um, we've disconnected recently over a number of things we've both said hurtful things to each other and it happens you know no one's perfect absolutely no one's perfect and i make as many mistakes as everyone else but what i have promised myself from this experience is that i'll learn from it as always and i've been doing a lot of dig digging deep and a lot of healing work around why the things that came up in this relationship I found difficult and I did struggle with them and I put aside my <clears throat> usual ability to uh, speak my mind to uh, kind of staying a bit more quiet about the things that bothered me because I wanted to work on those things myself but as it turned out those characteristics of the person that I found difficult, I have subsequently learned that those are characteristics in myself which I am denying. So they triggered me. And I've had a few people contact me recently about issues that they're having in friendships and it's an interesting one because I feel that what we need to do when we have uh, a struggle with a friend is to really understand what it is that is making us feel uncomfortable because whatever it is means that that's a wound in us that's a part of us that needs healing and whether that comes from feeling abandoned in childhood and then if this friend is not so available to you then perhaps you feel abandoned in this friendship if it is a friendship of a domineering nature then perhaps you had a person in your childhood who was domineering who didn't allow you to be seen or to be heard and what i've really learned is that friendships are another opportunity for us to learn about ourselves and yes it is freaking hard it's really hard for me because i'm the kind of person who will disconnect very quickly and uh, move into my own space and take care of myself because I'll feel frightened. Um, and this comes from childhood, uh, the fear of not being accepted, the fear around people not liking me because I might be a bit odd or a bit strange or I feel like they don't understand me. So friendships for me have always been a struggle and I am going through this experience right now and I wanted to share it with you because I wanted anyone out there who's listening who's perhaps struggling with a family member or a friendship to understand that this is an opportunity for you to look at yourself and I also feel that it's important if there is a friendship or a relationship breakdown that we don't blame ourselves, that we forgive ourselves for not having had the expertise or the experience to deal with that relationship 
in the way that we would like to have done with hindsight. You know, I could look back on this friendship and say, oh my God, I should have done this, I should have done that. But I didn't. And the reality of that situation is that now I have to take a look at that and think about how I'm going to do things differently in the future. So I wanted to share that today. It is a bit of a personal one. It is, it is hard, um, but it's also part of my growth journey. And for that, I will always be grateful. So I'm sending you all lots of love. I hope you enjoy the podcast. I'm waiting for my QHHC client as usual. And it's a sunny day. It's not raining. And I hope that you all have a fab Thursday. Sending lots of love.